what's going on cancer welcome or welcome back to the channel my love it is me true from true water intuition back to do a general message for the cancer collective please keep in mind that these messages are general so they may or may not resonate for everyone's circumstance so in the event that they do resonate feel free to share below in the comments also give this video a thumbs up if in the event you find that these messages do not resonate, that is okay, my love. Feel free to check out another reading on the channel. Hopefully you're able to find one that does resonate for you. But if that is still unsuccessful, I thank you all so very much for stopping by. And I am sending love and light out to you all. Any other information you guys need is listed down below in the description box. One more. <laughs> too many but we got manipulation and quality time okay some of y'all could be feeling like y'all got to manipulate somebody to get some quality time okay you got the lie to kick it oh lord no some of y'all want quality time with a manipulator okay a liar Somebody could be, in when it comes to this energy of euphoria, just not seeing someone clearly. Right? You're not seeing a connection for what it is or seeing a person for what it is, seeing a situation for what it is. Some of y'all, this energy of euphoria, though, is like, it's giving the energy of the fool. So, carefree. Somebody could even, someone could even say careless, okay? Um, euphoric, just free. Floating, like on cloud nine. Somebody could be tripping, okay? Like uh, shrooms, microdosing. This could be getting high, drinking, euphoria. Number 30 is on this card. That is a three. The Ten of Wands just tried to plop out. I'm not ready to take any cards just yet, though. But some of you guys could feel like you got a heavy load on your shoulders. Some of you guys are about to drop some sort of heavy load. Some of y'all, this could have even been something pertaining to a struggle love dynamic. There's some sort of new friendship that's coming in with the friendship card. Like teamwork makes the dream work. That's a number 35, which could also be significant. That is a eight. What the energy that you put out is what you will get in return. Okay? Um, especially when it comes to connecting with others. So if you come across, you know, welcoming and things of that nature, then other people will be welcoming as well. It's like the vibe that you put out once again. Some of y'all could be feeling like there's a lot of people or someone who in particular that is saying they like your vibe, they enjoy your energy. I feel like some of y'all got to beware of those kinds of, like, listen to the things that people tell you okay i want your energy some people could be trying to cipher your energy yeah they like your damn energy they want to embody your energy oh damn okay um don't be in that euphoria like you just not you just seeing the good in everybody simply because of how you are the innocence within you don't be under that guise that everybody you attract is just like you okay some of us walk in the light with the friendship car because it's giving sun yellow and other people are definitely heavily in their motherfucking shadow operating in their damn ego 17 january 7th could be significant august 17th could also be significant as well as march 17th some of y'all are starting to understand this euphoria is also making me think of awakening you know like how we can still like we can only 
process a certain level of colors, a certain spectrum of colors. And the euphoria is making me think of like someone who is able to start to see more colors than what the, the the human eye is used to picking up. That's why initially when I was looking at the card, I thought tripping, like uh, microdosing or on shrooms or some sort of hallucinogen, okay? Um, it's like you're waking up to certain things. And some of you coming out of your shadow, coming out of your ego, coming out of, snapping out of this world, the matrix, honey. You're going to start to see that it can get kind of lonely. <laughs> Somebody could be multitasking. It can get real lonely, honey. I'm also hearing this lonely at the top, Cancer. Number 42. But you will be balanced. You will have harmony. Is it a bad thing that you don't have someone bumping knuckles? Somebody you could have brought along with you? Is it really so bad? Does that take away from the harmony of the moment? What's this ego? Yeah, you done did a lot of healing. Then came up out the cold. Hmm? Three of Cups. Some of y'all been partying, just connecting with the wrong people. Okay, people done left you out in the cold, possibly then put you out in the cold, I heard, child. You just then had to realize who your friends were the hard way, who was really down for you the hard way. Okay, this could have broken your ego in a sense, your pride in a sense. But some of you guys, that's what's been building back up within you. I don't know why this friendship card now is making me think of the strength card. Look at the air. The sun lived to fight another day. <laughs> Child, I don't know. Somebody watching Friday. Okay, I'm just saying here. You live. You live to fight another day, son. Okay, come on now. Um, Some of y'all, though, I'm just saying, connect. You didn't realize. Yeah, you see. Hanging around the wrong motherfuckers. Some of y'all this your own family. People who call themselves friends, but they ain't never the fuck around when you need them, child. People who uh, triumph over your brokenness. Triumph over your... Um, failures or do you know the things that when you feeling down and out it's people who will link themselves to you because you feeling like the five of pentacles or being in the five of pentacles type of situation make them feel better about themselves because now they can look down on you okay like they doing you a goddamn favor at the end of the day you just realize that people will attach themselves to you for many different fucking reasons cancers and you done had to learn this with the sun look at there the emperor now look who's in power Okay, this is you taking your power back. Some of y'all could have been dealing with a Leo. Some of y'all could have been dealing with an Aries. But you had to build yourself up. This is you also like going through the dark night of the soul, going through this shadow work. When you're doing this shadow work, you really see also who, who's around. Who's around to cheer you on? Nobody. Who's around to support you? Nobody. Mm -hmm. Nobody, baby. Period. I'm just saying. So you see, you be having to stand up for your goddamn self. If you don't do it, then who will? What's this euphoria? The Eight of Swords is here and the Two of Pentacles. Some of y'all keep going back and forth in your mind about whether or not you should let this go, whether or not you should let that go. 
this person, that person. Some of y'all, it's something pertaining to your finances that you're needing to let go. And it might be this feeling of euphoria. For some of y'all, it could be what causes the feeling of euphoria. Be it a drug of choice, honey. For some of y'all, I'm just saying. Others of you, this could be a, a way of thinking. Because the Eight of Swords is definitely here. And you're needing to step more into the euphoria in the sense of stop being so critical of yourself. <laughs> stop taking it so personally. Stop taking things so seriously. Stop going back and forth in your mind about the things that make you happy. About yourself. Judgments of yourself. Whatever the case may be, honey. It is whatever you're being guided to. Or whatever it is that you're struggling with in your mind that you keep cycling. Some of y'all, it's a person. This person keep coming up, child. They keep resurfacing. Some of y'all are under the guise that you might even love somebody. But really, with the Eight of Swords, you blind. You're not even seeing something clearly. I don't think this is about love. I think this is about your ego. Okay, it's something you're trying to heal with your ego. Like, it's going to make you feel big, egotistically better about yourself. But, it's not actually love with the Three of Swords. How can it be? When this person ain't never gave you shit. Five of, so five of Pentacles for some of y'all and the Three of Swords. And whatever they have given you, it's been a bunch of disappointment with the Three of Swords. Somebody is also, I'm hearing, oh Lord, somebody staying in a relationship and they know that they person is cheating, but they stay in the relationship possibly due to finances with the two of pentacles or somebody think they got a good relationship, but child, I don't know, child, it could be a third party situation. What's this friendship? We not finna even get into that. Some of y'all dealing with a Sagittarius. This came out again. Sagittarius is in this energy too. Different deck though. What's this friendship? The justice. Some of y'all could be meeting a Sagittarius or a Libra. Also, something is balancing out in your favor. Okay, this is teamwork with the divine for some of y'all. This ain't even got nothing to do with no damn person. Okay, your best and highest, your greatest friendship of all is your friendship with the divine. Because spirit can make any fucking thing happen. Okay, and look, with this ten of wands, spirit finna remove this load off of your damn shoulders. Only spirit can do something like that. Some of y'all don't even see this is giving transaction too. You don't even see some sort of money uh, being made or transferred to you. I don't know. You don't see it right now, but it's coming in, Cancers. Balance is being restored to a situation here. Some of you, your ego is what makes you think the five of pentacles. You think that people are going to abandon you. Um, because, and your ego is what's telling you, like, no, don't even take on the burden of meeting new people, connecting with new individuals. Why? Because you already telling yourself they just going to disappoint you anyway. They going to hurt you anyway. That's your ego talking. Your ego is, go is set up to defend you from harm but it's a perceived threat okay like a perceived threat that is to come but what if that threat never comes is the thing and that's where this ego is like doing you a disservice so it keeps you in your head constantly fearing being happy euphoria being able to view the fullness, the full array of life. Okay? 
but because of the fears because of the history because of the disappointments of the past that keeps cycling through your mind it causes you to overthink everything constantly okay and you're gonna have to come to one accord friendship within yourself masculine and feminine energy you know what's crazy i saw i don't know how valid this is but i mean it makes sense to me but at the same time well let me just share so i was watching a video and they were talking about it was like a news um story talking about how the fem females have the xx chromosomes right males have the x and the y but their y chromosome is disappearing so it's almost like really getting rid of the feminine energy within yourself so that's a imbalance if that makes sense anyways some of you guys are having an imbalance for those who want to manifest love. You have an imbalance of how you perceive love. It's I want it, but I don't trust it. Same thing for those who feel like, oh, I don't got no friends. But when there's the opportunity to meet new people, you clam up. You go back into, uh, you know, the responses of I don't know if I could trust these people or this person. You start not looking at things clearly, okay? And it's an imbalance. So there's an imbalance between what it is that you desire and you believing in what it is that you desire. Some of y'all, this is about the lifestyle you want to live. You don't want to work hard. You want to work smart. You don't want to do all of this heavy, strenuous, manual type of work for the type of lifestyle that you want. But at the same time, you don't feel like you will be able to come up with an idea for yourself that's going to make the type of money that you want to make so that you can live the peaceful life that you want to live. Or you don't think that you will have success in a business. You don't think that you will be able to do this or do that. Whatever the case may be, that's what is preventing you from this though it's your mindset and you're gonna have to come to a space of balance not going back and forth between okay i believe i don't believe i believe i don't believe i believe i don't believe which also means that even when things happen that make you say i don't believe you gotta still stand in the face of those things and say i still believe it's gonna be either or you're gonna either keep saying the same thing it's not gonna happen it don't exist i can't do it or you're gonna change that talk you're gonna change that mindset you're going to change whatever behaviors you need to change. You're going to change whatever it is that is preventing you from living in this energy of balance and justice where you feel justified, right? When it comes to the life that you live and instead of looking at your life and thinking, oh, what a pity, Look at all the shit that has happened to me. Look at all the relationships that have come to an end. Look at all the things that I've gained and then I've lost or whatever the case may be, honey. Instead of looking at all of this shit and just saying, well, that's what it's going to be forever. We have to still say, I know what I've gone through. I know what it's been, but that doesn't mean. That things can't get better. You see the sun? You see this color? Yellow could be some of you guys' favorite color. I also heard yellow looks really good on you. Are you going to have faith in your partnership with the divine? Or are you going to put your faith in man? <laughs> man going to disappoint you every time. Others of you, once again, 
put an end to dwelling over things of the past, the hardships of the past. Stop looking at, oh, it's going to be too hard. Oh, well, I went through struggle love before. I've had people do this to me and do that to me. So you're focusing on the five of cups, the things that people have done, instead of seeing that there is always an opportunity for something more with that two of cups that's still behind you in the five of cups, right? Mm -hmm. so it's about finding the balance spirit is dropping a burden something that has been weighing on you spirit also wants you to drop the burden of feeling guilty okay you feel guilty for dealing with the people for for losing the things, for going through the struggle, for whatever the case may be. When you look at your life and you say, oh, what a pity I didn't get to do this or that. It's like, or look at all the struggle. I've been struggling, struggling, struggling. It's like when you look at those things constantly, you will start to feel guilty like I did this to myself and it's my fault and then you stay there. It's good to be accountable, but don't just stay there and beat yourself up. That's not going to be helpful either. So it's about releasing the guilt, forgiving the temperance, your damn self understand look at okay i know why i connected myself to this thing i know why i had this problem i know why i had this mindset whatever the case may be honey but i also know that moving forward i do not have to stay in this mindset i do not have to live through this circumstance over and over and over again this disappointment this rejection, this abandonment, this fear. Some of y'all, this is fear when it comes to your finances, when it comes to living your best life. It's like you, you're afraid that you're not going to be able to do it, so you just don't even try. Spirit is like, it's time to put an end to that. There's about to be a transformation to your circumstances because you have been transforming your mind and you're going to start to see these transformations okay and those transformations are going to come in the form of things with the lovers it's the things that we lust after when it comes to like material gain. It's the things, it's people, connections with people. Some of y'all connecting with people I heard in higher places with the nine of pentacles here. You about to be sitting in rooms with people you probably never thought you would sit Okay, so you about to be able to acquire things that you never thought that you could have. You never dreamed of it. I see you sitting somewhere dockside. I'm hearing, child, just thinking to yourself like, man, look at all that spirit has brought you through. And all because you decided to end the parts of you that just didn't believe in you. That was always feeling sorry for yourself always feeling this energy that's what you let die and so now the rebirth is this it's you abundant and watch how the abundance just flows to you cancer it's sticking to you like white on rice. Okay, you can't get away from it. Look at all the yellow popping off of this energy that's coming in towards you. Even in this car where there's peace of mind. Okay, you're building. You're living in this energy of abundance. Bringing in new connections. Making new connections. New beneficial connections. Partnerships. Teamwork. Building business. So that you can have peace of mind. Okay? It's balance. It's harmony in relationships. Reaching your goals. Success. Financial peace of mind and stability. As the empress. 
other people wanting to partner with you. Okay? You're this nine of wands is all that you've gone through like i said solitude i see you somewhere like reminiscing in a sense sitting there and you're thinking of all that you've gone through and how look how spirit just been blessing you look at where you are now look at the things you've obtained some of y'all gonna be juggling multiple streams of income you just don't even see that yet some of y'all going to be working with big names, okay, important people, famous people. Hell, I don't mean to say important because we all important, but I'm hearing like famous because it's paired with the empress. Others of you, this could be like um, just everybody wants to work with you because you are the empress. You're in a very creative energy, so you could be creating new business ventures and opportunities that you might not be talking about with the four swords as well. Some of y'all done did some healing when it came to a breakup or an ending. And look at you on the other side. Okay, back here, you probably would have never been able to see yourself at this status that Spirit is bringing you through too. But it's coming in. Cancer, it's coming in. Alright, let's clarify. Jackie could resonate for some of you guys as well as Ryan. Ryan. Okay. I'm not ready yet. What's this three of cups? Let's go ahead and get the whole board actually, spirit. What's the three of cups? That's too many, y'all. But that was the two, the page of wands. And not the page of wands, the knight of wands and the ten of cups. What's the five of pentacles? The knight of wands. Flighty, unreliable types of energies. People not there for you. Alright you guys, so... For y'all, you won't know, but it has been some time that has gone by. Um, I ended up having to pause this read, and then some things happened in my own damn life uh, with this damn Eight of Swords spiraling, feeling as if I'm spiraling in a sense. Five of Cups, okay, down and damn out on yesterday. Um, so, y'all didn't see me yesterday. I wasn't in the best mental uh, <laughs> mental capacity. I didn't see it coming. And I'm sitting here doing the goddamn reading. But it's all good. But we're back. And I feel like, honestly, it has given me an even deeper understanding behind what where I was going. But also being able to be in the energy of the justice and seeing the bigger picture. But we're going to get into this message. Get back into this message. I was talking about how... Um, when I got cut off, the Knight of Wands came out. Unreliable types of energies is what you were connecting to with the Three of Cups. Some of y'all came up in dynamics when it comes to family dynamics that were very, what? Unreliable. Okay? Instead of there being harmony, some of y'all came up with this harmony, balance, support, and things of that nature. And it could have left you. Five of Pentacles in ways that it's like, ooh, and you just got to get your footing, honey, okay? You got to find your footing out here. Um, others of you, you came from dynamics where it was unreliable, okay? But you got to understand the justice, the higher understanding even behind just that. Some of you chose this because of your ego, <laughs> Even in spirit, we think that spiritually, as we elevate, we're supposed to ascend past the ego. And that is even misinformation, which is all the Eight of Swords is. And we all filled with misinformation 
information on a daily level. We are all filled with energies to keep us cycling back and forth, back and forth through fear, famine, poverty, uh, all kinds of things that are already set as traps for you every day to keep your ass fluctuating. Hmm. For the higher powers, but that's another route. We ain't got to get into it, spirit. Not that deep, but we commit to it. Friendship every day. But then we complain about this shit. That's how backwards society is. And then we try to follow these societal rules and regulations like it's real, actual law. We think it really is. Some of us even think the law was for made for us to begin with. Some of us that damn deaf, dumb, and blind. I said I wasn't going to get into it, spirit. What are you doing? <laughs> Back to on a lower scale with us. Dealing with these families, whatever the dynamics. Some of y'all, I even saw Knight of Wands. You was ready to skedaddle. Okay? Ready to get gone. <laughs> Like, I'm ready to leave and connect with my people. All the while, you don't even know. Because what's being suppressed is your lack. The ways in which this lack has formed and shaped you. Or how the lack has affected you. Some of y'all, this lack, like I said, could have come through losing parents, loving uh, connections, whatever the case may be. Others of you, it just, it wasn't there. There were a lot of needs unmet. Some of you, there could have even been an absent father. Some of y'all could have came from family dynamics where you got, you, maybe your parents were fucking children themselves, just teenagers. And with the five of pentacles, they ain't know. But sometimes our ego is, it, 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 whew, it takes away our ability to see the bigger picture, which is the parent was just a child. The parents, parents were learning, navigating the world blindly themselves. If they came from broken family dynamics, they're definitely navigating in the dark. But it's so easy for the child or a child to be in their ego and feel as if they can do better. They would have done better. They would have done differently. They wouldn't have done this. They wouldn't have done that. That's easier said. That's easy to say. Okay. <laughs> it's very easy to say. But let's see what was at the bottom of the day. Oh, the emperor. That's father. <laughs> okay. Maybe there wasn't structure. You could have been lacking structure, lacking foundation. Lacking the stability, lacking confidence even. Uh, a father figure is supposed to instill that confidence into you. Protectiveness, right? You, Some of y'all don't even didn't even know how to protect yourself. Or maybe when you should have been protected, you were not. Either way, it could have put you in your ego early on and with the 17 that's a number eight that energy you're putting out you're gonna get it back that's karma that's law that's the only thing that is real divine law this law they got y'all abiding under with this system this fucking money system is b -b -b bullshit and everybody knows it Hmm. But we taught all the shit that is wrong is right. And we're taught that all the shit that is right is wrong. Backwards is fuck. Mm-hmm. Blind. Can't hear. Don't want to hear. Don't want to see. You'd rather be stuck. Some of us. 
there are some people, I'm not going to say us because I ain't a part of that motherfucking crowd, okay? But there are definitely some who would rather say stay stuck in certain ways, systems, beliefs that were taught because it's comfortable, it's easy, and you can't tell them shit, they don't want to hear it. You, they can't, you can't show them none of this shit because they don't want to see it, okay? Some people think tarot is devil wrong. Why? Because somebody told them that a large number of people, people follow the fucking masses. Okay? And if a large group is doing something, then everybody is going to jump on board. Period. And even though some of us don't even agree with certain things like, let's take it this way. Getting your ass up every day, night of wands, and gotta get out and beat your feet, okay? Get to work, hustle, grind, okay? For what? To still be in this goddamn energy right here? Because I don't give a damn how you living, okay? Let me say this. I don't give a damn how you living. Some of y'all could be living, struggling, five of damn pentacles. This is like paycheck to paycheck type shit. Others of you, you still could be living and having a life that seems on the outside is the damn three of cups, living lavish, four of wands. But you got to keep up with this shit too. <laughs> That's the that's the slavery you done put yourself in because of your ego. You think the having things make you more valuable. Well, when you get to losing these things, how do you feel? How does it make you feel then? How will it make you feel? These attachments to things. Or we came up in good homes. You know, I noticed some people come up, you can raise a child in the best of way and they will still go after toxicity. <laughs> okay, I mean, honestly speaking, I know everybody worships Beyonce and Jay-Z's relationship as goals. But the way Beyonce was raised up, why would she want a drug dealer? <laughs> Why is that what was so appealing? Because his way of making money. Okay, it just goes to show sometimes people got liking spirits. It don't matter what somebody look like on the outside. It don't matter what they got going on in their life. What they are involved in. Okay, people are going to have likened spirits. And that's what you can't see now. And even when it comes to certain of us. Okay, we can think about. Let's take this reading on a even narrow it down even more to one specific person for some of y'all like in a romantic sense the lovers okay this was somebody who was in their ego bigger than you there's always a bigger fish okay so the same way let's let some of y'all i'm telling you because this knight of wands is flighty ass energy and some of y'all wanted a relationship with this person but you only wanted a relationship with this person out of your own lack you wanted this relationship um and or you are in this energy of desiring a relationship maybe you think it's going to fulfill something you think it's going to make somebody jealous or show that see someone does want me someone will be with me someone will love me someone will do whatever okay so you in search <laughs> the emperor for this emperor and the dynamics that we are taught that the things are supposed to be this way or that way. Child, we just all fucked up. They got us all fucked up. I feel that some of you guys desired a relationship or want a relationship, was trying to make something work, is trying to make something work that is the five of damn pentacles. It is not what you think you want, okay? This is egotistical energy. It's flighty energy. Okay. Um, the three of cups is like friends with benefits with when it when we see the knight of wands. So we got one person wanting ha harmony, home, family, okay, stability, commitment, and one person is like, nah, <laughs> that ain't what I really want. You know what I'm saying? 
okay and some of y'all your ego is what made you attracted to this person you wanted to conquer fulfill some sort of void okay with this person but see that's not how it works honey that's that eight of swords shit that's what you got to free yourself from. For those of y'all, this is like relationship-wise. Okay. Or situationship, whatever. What's the Eight of Swords? I'm going to get back into the other way I was seeing it. For the, okay, what's this Eight of Swords? Trying to hold it together, honey. Okay. Um. This shit, some of y'all, this could catch you off guard caught you off guard something could have caught you off guard but you good for pentacles wise you stable you just got to balance out your emotions and i definitely had to balance out my emotional state yesterday for pentacles just holding on trying to keep grips to reality honey okay but at any rate I also see this like I was talking about working on these jobs, these establishments. We complain about these things, child, because we like it's not enough, it's not enough. But yet we also still every day get up and make the choice to participate in the system. That's a transaction being made. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all was making transactions with people. It's like some of you were in this energy of wanting to be transactional, giving and expecting to receive. But for some of y'all, y'all weren't receiving shit because this person wasn't giving you nothing. So it means that you're doing a bunch of tap dancing and shit like this just to try to get this person to give you something in return. Because you know you giving out something, but you keep ending up empty handed because this person keep, look, look at how many pentacles they got. Okay, you keep on giving them to them. But when are they going to pass one over there to you? Mm. Working on these damn jobs. Two of pentacles. You're barely getting anything in return. Or you got to tap dance the system even more just to be one of the ones that sit like the four of pentacles. I'm good. I got money in the bank. Child, the bank's got your money. You ain't got no motherfucking money. I'm just saying. But that's why you ate a swords with it. Because <laughs> you think you holding on to something. But once again, there's a bigger fish. And you just dance for them. You hear me? You might dance a little bit better than somebody who is like, uh... Some people don't even want to do that fucking dance. That, that What the fuck? For Uncle Sam? Is you crazy? So what? Okay, that means that I might not have the lavish things. Only somebody in the Eight of Swords would think that they in a better predicament because they think they ate the Queen of Pentacles in that regard. But that's what makes the Queen of Pentacles the Queen of Pentacles. And people think that this is such lavish energy, but that's where the Empress is at with it. The Queen of Pentacles is still not the Empress. Okay? Just saying. By itself, she's just the Queen of Pentacles. And that's, in the world, in society, that's just somebody that's eight of swords. Blind, deaf, and dumb. And I mean, take it how it resonates, honey. That's spirit talking. Somebody need to wake the fuck up because it's been too long. <laughs> okay i'm just saying spirit said it's been too long what is your name do you know who are you do you know you've been taught history queen of pentacles in that regard the nurturing who has nurtured you who has instilled knowledge into you and is that knowledge real or fake huh Ooh, child, no, it ain't Eight of Swords. It's all lies. Okay, some you've been taught since a wee, wee, wee little teen. That's why that monkey on your back. Some of y'all coming into struggle, leaving out in struggle, working so hard, got to work extra hard just to maintain the life. <laughs> Ooh, child. And 
things are not going to get easier. Things are not going to get better. That's a fucking lullaby that they tell you to lull your ass to sleep. Because how is it going to get easier and better when you just remain in a slave? No matter which way you cut the motherfucking cookie. And I know it's people who want to, oh, I'm not a slave. I don't got no shackles. Your fucking mind is shackled. Eight of swords. That's what the eight of swords means. Okay. The queen of pentacles in that regard is your elites. Okay. The motherfuckers that do control whether or not you eat, live, Okay, maintain your household, whether or not you able to be a mother for those who are mothers and actually be in your household with your children, or do you got to leave the home? Because that is a, that is by design. Anyway, we ain't got to get into it. Back to what I was saying. The elites have been telling you from the jump the wrong shit. Backwards ass lies. Why to keep their fucking euphoria? You clock in to pay for the transaction that you make every day is clocking in to pay for somebody else's euphoria, somebody else's reality, somebody else's dream that is a reality. Because you working on the job to uh supply their lavish lifestyles and their wines and shit that they're drinking the furs and the clothes and the minks that they wearing the fuck is wrong with y'all like come on now wake up people okay wake the fuck up because it's been too long okay so hell yeah they want you to stay deaf dumb and blind because it benefits them Hmm. The even take celebrities, ego, worship, idol. Ooh, oh my God. Yay. Selling out motherfucking arenas for people who gone at the end of the day cut that check and deal. They ain't finna be there whenever you going through it though. The fuck? These people wouldn't even turn their fucking head. <laughs> Call it what you want, child. Do what you will. Ten of Wands. That's what keeps you in the Ten of Wands. Keep you struggling. Hmm. You complain about the struggle, but you check in every day. You complain about the structures, the system, but you transaction with it every day. Some of y'all, let's go smaller. And it's a person, a lover. You want something from somebody, but yet you keep giving. And they keep taking because they're benefiting. And you think, well, I wouldn't do such a thing. Well, that's you. That's where you're lacking. Okay, that's where I can tell there was a lack for you. There was no protection for you somewhere early on. Why? Because you're not protecting yourself now. And it don't matter what kind of background you had, child. People could come from the best of backgrounds and still get involved with the worst type of goddamn people. Hmm. And that's a struggle all in its own. Okay. Everything that we take on as identities or things that we hold on to because oh this means something about me it means that when one of these things get taken away you don't really know how the fuck you feel about yourself do you you don't even know if you really like that motherfucker call yourself do you <laughs> you don't really know huh you gotta figure that shit out cancers before you figure or before somebody else gonna figure it out, you got to figure it out. You got to have some stable footing. Some of y'all just trying to hold on. Spirit is saying, just hold on. You're about to reach some sort of point where for some, something is coming in. That's the transaction. Something is coming in. Some of y'all, this could be government assistance. So get out of your head about it, okay? This could be some kind of payout regarding a job, like I said back here. Uh, working on these jobs, child. Mm. <sighs> this system. It's what's buying it, it it is what binds us to this realm. A struggle realm, a low realm. 
but we're here to learn lessons nonetheless okay it's a dual reality we tend to think sometimes you know what is a reality check you think about someone who you know they might like you but you'd be like mm -mm, the audacity that this person would have thought that you wanted a relationship with them right like nah i wasn't even really feeling you like that and sometimes it don't have to be in the the worst type of ego but uh, like, oh my God, you peasants, you know, type of energy, the, the worst. Or it could just be something as simple as that's just not my type. You know, that's not my preference. Um, and then you meet someone, they're acting like you're not their damn pre preference because they just want this friends with benefits shit you want something stable but they holding back four pentacles you not getting the transaction that you want some of you guys are blinding yourself you're you're feeding yourself a delusion okay um maybe this person is even feeding you a delusion maybe you feel like they're they're acting one way but they're saying something different they say they want to hold on to a connection they say they want to be with you they say they love you they say they care about you whatever it is the lies that's being told oh you're such a good woman you're such a good man Okay, yet they're holding back. So you trying to figure out what the fuck is wrong. You doing too much work, Cancer. You doing too much work in this, this situation that's non-transactional. Or it's an imbalance in the transaction because somebody holding back. As sad as it is. And the cycle is only going to end. You only going to put an end to your misery when you say, I give the fuck up. So it's the same on the bigger scale from, from where I'm at with it. The struggle that we complain about. The things that we complain about. Some of y'all already releasing the things that bind you, four pentacles, that bind you to this world and you are ascending. So you're lightening your load. Good for you, Cancer. You will experience euphoria in the sense that when you leave, your, your spirit will be free from this system. You're elevating beyond this existence. Okay? And elevation ain't easy either because that's some hard-ass work. Because why? It means you got to force yourself to look at certain shit within you and, and let it die. Oh, what a pity. Oh, what a shame. But it's really not. Because that's what frees you and that's what helps you to ascend within this realm. And you get to experience euphoria. And some of y'all understand that euphoria don't necessarily... Uh, back to what I was trying to say. Hold on, let me see where did I leave off again, child. Lord help, man. Euphoria does not necessarily mean that you have to have a physical death. Okay, um, there are people, euphoria to me is also like heaven, right? And there are people who understand clearly that you can have heaven here on earth right now. Okay, we not wait until we die to experience heaven. Heaven is just peace, it's balance understanding even as the queen of pentacles that all of your like everything we we paying for we supposed to be getting for free on a higher scale when it comes to this reading okay when it comes to some of you guys where this is people uh let's say you you dealing with somebody who making you work so hard to hold on to them hold on to a connection because this person's ego is humongous honey and for some of y'all this is um 
<laughs> this could even be somebody who feels like child they gon' they I heard fuck you into submission. Lord Jesus, the ego, Lord. Who child, I don't got time to dissect, but <laughs> Oh, this energy is something else. It's overwhelming. At the end of the day, because I had been saying so many things when I realized that we cut out, child. I was just seeing that at the end of the day, um, we got to understand that we got to have a balance of the two. The realm that we are under, we are not supposed to be too far on the right, too far on the damn left. Not too far in spirit, not too grounded to this earth. Some of us don't understand, but the more grounded you are, the less you're able to ascend to the higher euphoria realms, okay? So the more you're weighed down, planted to this, this city, or not city, um, system, the less able you are to elevate in the spirit, period. So some people, Queen of Pentacles, it's the things that we're attached to, the people. Because we view people as fucking possessions, bro. Oh, the same way, the, let's take it to slavery, child. We were possessions. You're not even a human being. What are you talking about? And even to this day in the con mm. <laughs> the Constitution still say you're not a human being, a full human being to this day. 2023, supposedly. Okay, I'm still waiting on 2023. And some of y'all, I know y'all waiting on me too, uh, waiting on it as well. And for those of y'all who, you know, if you know, you know, then let's put some blooms, any type flowers in the comments, okay? If you waiting on spring, because that will then be, you know, I mean, look at this, the divine law. Spirit tells you when it's a new year. The earth tells you. You keep on going by this fake ass system. You know, this illusion of time. All of these things, child. That's what keeps them being able to live in euphoria, though. And keep you being in the struggle. Ten of wands. Doing the hard work for them. Or... Keeping yourself in the goddamn struggle because the more things you think you want and need, the bigger the house, the, the bigger the bills, the nicer the car, the more expensive the motherfucking repairs. Trust me, the more you own, the more work you got to do to keep that shit. So um, hell is what you make it. And so is heaven. My idea of heaven is just being able to be. You hear me? Can I just be? Can I just live? Can I just be who the fuck I am? Okay? I don't really care what nobody else got to say about it. Okay? There are certain parts of me that care out of, out of this ego shit and probably certain things that have even been missing for myself. But the larger scale of what my spirit know, I don't give a fuck. Okay, I really don't. And I feel like that's how some of you guys are just needing to be. It's like, this is I don't give a fuck season. If, if you ask me for cancer. Now, I was also saying before I had got cut out, child, um, being too far in the spirit, you end up isolating yourself. Because in that regard, it's like you understand that none of this shit really matter in the end. Um, but that can... You know, sometimes living in that spirit, child, it can depress the fuck out of you because it's like, <laughs> it's a heavy load, okay? Let me just use this one since it's already by itself. Um, it's a heavy goddamn load. That becomes a burden too. That becomes a struggle too. That becomes something that keep you even slave to the system. Because it's it's keeping you in a low energy at a low frequency that is going to prevent you from ascending higher as well. Guilt, shame, all of that shit keep you stuck here. Mm-hmm. Hate, malice in your heart, resentment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You'll be here again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I ain't trying to be here. I just want to be free. 
well, I, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm trying to be here for while I'm here, honey. And whilst I'm here, I don't, I'm trying to make the best of it. But we gotta find the best of both worlds. I'm just saying. <laughs> We definitely don't want to be too far in goddamn ego because, child, that's going to send you crashing down. Some of y'all holding on to things like, oh, marriage, I got to get married. Child, the Eight of Swords says that even you ain't looking at that right. But you will be taught a lesson justice because we all got to go through that. If you want a relationship because you think it's going to fulfill something in you, some form of lack. Or you think that it's because, oh, I want what my parents had. I want what I saw. And, and somehow if you don't have that, then you feel some kind of lack when it could like something is missing. I, I, if I don't have this. I got all of this other shit, but I don't have this, so I feel this emptiness with the solitude. That's because you're trying to fulfill a certain aspect of your ego that is, it's always hungry. And even when you get this relationship, what you're going to sadly realize is that it ain't going to fulfill it. <laughs> Now, what you do with that is what you will. That That's two of pentacles. It can go either way. Either you're going to end the shit because you ain't with it. Or you're going to stick with it because, once again, we're still trying to put on the show. Queen of Pentacles. It's about the image. But you're still going to be dealing with that emptiness. Okay? And we all know that even the worst relationships, the feminine partner is definitely going to boost that shit up and make it seem like it's a euphoria. It's a motherfucking fairy tale. And so therefore, yes, you're going to see the, oh, the lovely post, the post of all the good shit, the this, the that, that's going to make it seem like that relationship is goals. But you don't know what the fuck going on in that relationship. Because we done all been in relationships that been shitty as fuck. But if we posting shit, if you looking at the social media, you would think that shit is heaven uh, on the best day stepping out. Oh, yes, it looks good. Head to toe. What is you talking about? But the reality of the situation, you know the reality because you done been in the situations yourself. So do not let society fool you. You understand that you being programmed, you're being given frequencies, sending out frequencies to keep you emotionally balanced. You eating food to keep you emotionally balanced so the substances can get directly in your body because, because the food that you eat willingly, because of the devices that you want to carry around willingly, uh, that's going to track your behavior, your interests, and it's going to give you everything that you want right at your fingertips temptation every day whatever the case may be honey it's tracking you it's gonna get to know you y'all watch the movie Megan yet <laughs> we we succumb to the things that we think are going to make us feel better about ourselves and if you acquire anything even if it's a person and it makes you feel better about yourself somehow or you feel that it's supposed to make you feel better about yourself somehow, you're going to learn a lesson about that. That's just what it is. And once again, we got to learn how to balance the, the polarities here. Balance your God and your devil. Okay? If, if society say it's wrong, it must be motherfucking right. <laughs> Okay, so I would beware the shit that I believe in that society feeds you and say it's real. And let's not get it twisted because even though a lot of, I've been seeing a lot of shit get put in movies like spiritual shit, crystals, they talking twin flames and shit. They doing all this shit in the movies, but they always do it in ways that make it seem like they're delirious or these people are just crazy, um... It's always made to look a certain way that would make you, in the real world, people who are like that, you look at them and laugh and be like, huh, these people are fucking crazy. Okay, but they do it that way for a fucking reason, dodo bird. 
we know we live in a so I would be I would be very careful tread lightly the shit you trust and believe in that came from the society you live in hmm okay for some of you even on a deeper level you didn't even been lied to about your very color <laughs> period I'm gonna leave it there you gotta Gotta let them lies die. It ain't gonna feel good either. Okay? It's painful. Child, it's gonna be even more painful for uh, for some, for those that are holding on. They want to hold on to the lies because the lies make them feel good. The lies make their ass feel comfortable. Somebody, um... They think they is really king dingling out here swinging, batting in the park. Child, is this how somebody balances themselves out or is this how somebody feel like they fix a problem by dicking you down? <laughs> Shit, now, what was his name? Kevin Gates, little nasty ass. I can't stand that guy, but, you know, that ain't for me to stand, thank the Lord. Um, <laughs> at the end of the day. Oh, this Ten of Pentacles is here too. Cancer, some of y'all, this is Spirit's way of telling you every little thing is going to be all right. <laughs> okay. Um, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Mm -hmm. Period. Euphoria in the sense that your heaven, your world, your peace. It's good. Stop stressing. You're good. Stop stressing. Ooh, cancers. Look, you're manifesting. Some of y'all manifesting new relationships with this Ten of Pentacles. You're definitely manifesting your Ten of Pentacles. Some of y'all, this is just freedom. Abundance. Abundance is all around you. You're living this peaceful ass life cancer however that lifestyle is made by you okay the witch's brew is always designed to each person be you the emperor i'm sorry be you the high priestess or the magician honey i'm just saying i just feel like this is kind of giving um uh, even though i know the high priestess the pair to the high priestess is the hierophant right now it's just making me feel like the magician is the high priestess or the hierophant. It's someone on an intuitive scale. This is giving intuitively, spiritually speaking. Some of you, it could be just literal possessions, money, things, okay? That's coming in for you as well. But you guys also have a higher understanding that you understand you're not connected to none of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that part of you, you you definitely not connected to it. Like, it's, uh, it's your identity. Nah. But one thing about this world is the more you understand, the higher understanding, these polarities, and you pay respect to both of them, like, you got to pay respect to even struggle, child. Some of y'all, it's like when we go through struggle, we think the worst of ourselves instead of breathing life into ourselves. You know, one thing that I learned a long time ago, honey, uh, dealing with plants, right? When the plants, sometimes whenever they look like they're dying, you can talk to a plant and breathe life into it and you will see that it, in a sense, will heal itself. Not always do you have to cut, okay, and get rid of leaves that feel it's like they're turning yellow or you feel like it's dying and wilting away. So let me go ahead and get rid of that. Sometimes you don't have to, honey. You can nurse it back to life. And so it's the same for you. During a down season, that's like winter time. Whenever it's winter outside, yes, a lot of us hate the cold. We talk about how much we hate the cold. And that's why it always gets worse and worse for you, it seems like, huh? <laughs> uh, but either way, it just, it, it destroys a thing when you are talking negatively. 
when you breathe life into yourself, when you big yourself up, when you treat yourself, sometimes we think, oh, I can't spin because if I spin, then that's being irresponsible if I'm spinning because, and, and I know I got all of these things going on. Child, on a higher level, fuck this system. Okay, I don't give a, <laughs> don't nobody give a damn about no fucking debt. America run off of debt too. You don't know that? By the, the dualities. Okay, this, this world, this country is filled with debt. Ran by criminals. Liars, the biggest liars and criminals. But if, when you know, you know. Okay, so you'll be a fool to be struggling, paying bills, and saying neglecting yourself. Boy, girl, bye. Fuck this system, bro. <laughs> they put things literally out out if i put if i put a, a certain design on a celebrity it's motherfuckers gonna try to buy that shit best believe it and they're gonna be walking around thinking this shit means something too but child the people that walk around in the nicest of fashions out here getting drugged just like somebody walking around out here in a fucking in socks in the fucking cold okay walk around with no shoes on their goddamn feet walk around looking homeless or are homeless whatever the fuck the case may be okay and you can find people that's homeless that's living they best goddamn life and motherfuckers who living in the 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 richest of circumstances and they they just they killing themselves <laughs> what did you talking about Okay, them be the motherfuckers that be checking the fuck out. And you would think that it would be the people that's struggling. That's really offing themselves in, you know, major ways. But no. And then the celebrities that's, that's able to afford these things that they have. Yet they sipping on some scissor. Sip, sip, sipping on some. What? Why you want to be high all the damn time? Why you not enjoying your best sober ass life? What do you mean? Yourselves. Why are y'all doing these things if it's all that is cracked up to be? I got questions. South Jersey could resonate for some of you guys. Okay. Some of y'all, I feel like y'all was dealing with somebody who was trying to also kill your spirit on a higher, like, like literally, you could have been dealing with a, a energy. This person might not even understand this about them damn selves because, like I said, people on the outside the physical shell is lost as fuck so therefore the spirit on the inside is just like god i'm just here on the ride this shit don't make no damn sense look just sitting there like oh this motherfucker here just in the dark hmm and for people that's out here just running rampant like that child i feel sorry for them it just is what it is, though. That has nothing to do with me. Um, ultimately, Cancer, the lesson, the higher lesson for you is to realize that you are divinely protected. You will be provided for. All your wants will be possessed. All your needs will also be there. Supplied. Period. You will have all your wants, all your needs. And living in peace. That's what you manifesting for yourself. Some of y'all, this is because you're taking, looking for your peace out of the hands of other goddamn people. You're no longer holding on to, oh, I need friends. And if I don't have no goddamn friends, then maybe that's something bad about me. No. Oh, I need a partner. I need a wife. I need a husband. No, you don't. Those are wants. They're not needs. If it's a need, you're going to learn a valuable lesson. <laughs> okay? That's all I can say. If you need that big ass house because that you feel like that's going to mean something, child, you're going to have a hell of problems with that house. You're going to have hella issues trying to hold on to that shit. You're going to have hella issues trying to hold on to this job. Okay, dealing with possible 
all kinds of shit, bro. You can deal with sexism on jobs. You can deal with racism on jobs. You can deal with a lot of bullshit on jobs, child, depending on who you are <laughs> and the shell that you occupy. Just saying. So at any rate, um, ultimately we got to, we possess the power to re we reprogram ourselves. Okay, it's by having a healthy balance between your wants and your needs. Your needs are what is the Ten of Pentacles. And you don't need certain things to be happy. But when you got a good balance, the temperance, which comes from this higher understanding. Sorry, y'all. Of your desires. The things you want, Ace of Wands, versus what do you need? What's important? What truly fucking matters? What is the real deal? What is the real lessons? What is the real knowledge? Okay, come up, bring your head up out of the clouds. Get you some real truth, some divine truth, higher understanding, higher learning. That's the only way we're going to manifest some difference, too. It's like you're going to have to detach yourself from the things you think make you you. Hmm. What's the justice? Or the things you think are important, honey. You're going to learn lessons in all the things that you think are important. I also was saying when you, uh, like I said, don't be too much in the spirit that keep you in isolation. Because then it's like, what's the point? And then too much in your ego is going to have you connecting to people that's operating in their goddamn ego, bro. <laughs> and we don't want to deal with that. You know, the less you operate in your ego, people who operate in their ego just not even attractive no more. Because you got to be eight of swords, deaf, dumb, and blind for it to even be attractive. You got to be under the influence, euphoria. You got to be out your goddamn mind, delirious, eight of swords. But when the queen of pentacles, like you're grounding yourself, you're starting to really realize the truth and what's important. Um, and you start detaching yourself from old ways. That's why your friend circles change. That's why the relationships evolve. They change. The things that become attractive to you, the things that were once fun, they don't seem so fun no more. That shit ain't even appealing to you no more. And people who it is appealing to them, man, it's just such a turn off. Justice. Like, you still getting ran by that? Child, 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 justice. Judgment is here. Look at here. It's time to make some decisions. And this is, once again, divine law. You are divinely protected. That is the judgment. Judgment is in your favor. Some sort of benefit is coming in. Uh, payout. And that is where you see Ace of Wands and Temperance balance. Some of y'all spirits saying, just hold on. Your victory, your blessings, your abundance, that Ten of Pentacles, it's on the way. We putting an end to that suffering. Putting an end to your season of constantly living and manifesting lack. Mm. Child, we got three majors back to back. These are major shifts that are happening. Major transformations. Okay? Some of y'all, there is a Virgo that could be significant, a Gemini, or a Scorpio. Under the Hierophant. Somebody mad, too. Some of y'all did somebody who is mad because they can no longer have their way with you. You didn't judge someone. So some of y'all could be leaving somebody. They pissed. Okay. 
y'all saying it's over you're done this person like no the fuck you're not because they not done with you okay you over here the hermit that made peace with this ending this person over here like fuck you bitch i never wanted you in the first place fuck you you bitch ass nigga like whatever they talking mad shit okay they really feeling some type of way um about this but with the ten of pentacles it's not stopping anything some of y'all this person is married and feeling like this or in a relationship and feeling like this with the ten of damn pentacles i don't know honey i just feel like this is also some like if you're over here making peace with certain things and really going through a deep transformation elevating then i feel like you're manifesting you know this abundance for yourself ten of pentacles but if you over here the magician because we all the magician but if you manifesting shit sending out negative vibes five of wands then what you think you gonna manifest it'll be exactly what you deserve okay and uh, i don't think that would be the type of ten of pentacles you want though um it would probably be the ten of pentacles in the reverse but uh yeah okay this could also be someone who is highly materialistic or something cancers it doesn't really matter i just feel like you guys are wait a minute um i feel like you're living your best life here i also feel like this is spirit's way of telling you to trust in your manifestations okay uh what your what's gonna be your biggest obstacle is you <laughs> That's another way I'm seeing this. You are your own worst damn enemy. It's what you believe you deserve, what you believe you can have. Uh, if you believe you can goddamn have it, then you can have it. But if there's some friction in your uh, belief in being able to manifest that which you desire, then that's going to be your biggest obstacle. Okay? Having that higher understanding to understand that uh, by divine right it naturally belongs to you anyway okay you'll be it, it's like you gotta also understand when it comes to your manifestations the world that we live in is ran off of negativity bro it's ran off of you being in the energies that are low vibrational. So keeping you a part of the struggle so that the elites can live the life of luxury. So the five of wands will be you're still getting up and transactioning. <laughs> you're still paying for the system. You're still going and shopping in fucking Walmart. You're going splurging in Target and all the... Uh, Lulumon and all the the fucking shit y'all know what i'm saying you're still wanting to sit up and and buy the things that keep you a part of the system that's the struggle five of wands hmm? that's what's going to prevent you from living your full ten of pentacles because i don't give a damn what you got um you're still going to deal with this law <laughs> Meaning, you think that what you got make you something, honey. And then a lot of it is hidden. Okay, they hide a lot of the fucking struggle and strife and, you know, what's really happening. They gonna mask that shit because they don't want you to know. So this system really is dying, but they don't want you to know. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm gonna end it there. My son blowing my phone up, child. So let me see what he wants. Cancer, those are your messages. If these messages resonated, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Also, feel free to share down below in the comments. And I'm going to catch you guys later in another message. Until then, take care, my loves.